I just see a shark as close as you are to me biting my kayak. Not just a shark, but a great white. And today, the state will be looking for that big fish that took a big bite out of that outing. And the eye opener's Frank Holland is in Plymouth this morning on the South Shore with this remarkable survivor story. Frank, good morning. Yeah, good morning, guys. Remarkable to say the least. This guy, these two ladies had a brush with death, if you really think about it. They were kayaking about 150 yards out right here, and both say they feel lucky to be alive. The bite marks on this kayak are from a great white shark. 29 year old Ida Parker and 31 year old Kristen Orr almost caught in the deadly jaws. It was a dark gray, um, pointy nose, big teeth, big eye. It was like Right next to me. The minute I saw it, I knew it was a great white. The two were kayaking here at Manomet Point in Plymouth at around six last night. They were about 150 yards out, looking to see the seals. That's when, out of nowhere, the deadly predator lunged from the water. It came directly out of the water, underneath the boat, launched her backwards, and flipped me over. It happened so fast that all of a sudden, I was talking to her, and next thing I'm in the water, and I just see a shark as close as you are to me biting my kayak. Both were knocked into the water and screamed for help. Fortunately, the great white decided to move on. The ladies were rescued by the harbor master. Both feel lucky to be alive. I don't think I'll ever kayak again. I, I might. <laughs> <laughs> And both still have a great sense of humor about that brush with death. Uh, as you guys already said, there were boats and helicopters out here looking for the sharp yes shark yesterday. They're going to return here today to try to find this great white and figure out where it is. The harbor master believes it's as, hot, as big as 14 feet long. People are advised to stay away from Plymouth beaches in the meantime. Here in Plymouth, Frank Holland, WCVB News Center 5.